One of the things that scripture reveals about Jesus is that he is the truth. In fact, he made the very statement that I am the way and the truth and the life. Now we live in an age, perhaps more than any other, where the whole concept of truth is disputed and under attack. In fact, no time in my lifetime has it been more difficult to know what is true. Now, even those who say that there is no such thing as truth really have some principles or beliefs that they hold as their personal truth. One of the things that all of us must do is really examine what is it that we believe and do I believe truth in every area of my life? Now, a lot of people, when I counsel them, reveal, whether they realize it or not, that they believe lies. That is, in how they think about themselves, their outlook on life, they've come to believe some lies, sometimes that are deep-rooted, that really inhibit how they live. And you see, when Jesus said, I am the truth, he is the truth in every facet of life. In other words, first he wants you to understand that he created you, you're created in his image, that you do have gifts and talents to be used to his glory, that he didn't make any mistakes when he made you. A lot of people wish they were different or had different characteristics or didn't have certain characteristics, but he didn't make any mistakes when he made you. That he built you based on truth. In fact, if you think about an automobile or an airplane or any sophisticated machine, engineers work a tremendous number of hours to make sure that everything is perfected so that it'll operate not only effectively, but safely. And of course, you want engineers and people who build those things to do so based on their understanding of what is true. Well, you see, God is the architect, the engineer of life. He has built truth into each one of us in terms of how he created us for his purposes. But I would ask you this question. Have you embraced Jesus as the truth? He wants you to understand him in that way.